Hey guys, Alessandro here, bringing you something that you probably think I've forgotten about. My Nuke the World series. Uh, I only had, act after all, two more maps to do off the normal base maps until I'd completed it. Quarry and High Rise. And those are the only maps I tend to put Nuke on nowadays, or... Well, pretty much, I kind of lost interest in the series because getting nukes this way at 7.11.25 is all about just finding the right lobby, making sure no one shoots down your air support, and raping a load of noobs, really. And not exactly all that fun. I prefer to go for high scores, low deaths. If you know what I mean, I, I've always been a low deaths guy, and I just want to kill as many people as possible, and you kind of stops that. And nukes also add a death to my total, which is not something I like. Now, coming up here, we've got a lovely exhibition of the auto-aim system. Two close targets running next to each other. Kudos for the guy quickscoping me, I guess, but that is pure auto-aim drag across me there. Every time you come into close proximity with a target running across you like that, it, you feel that auto-aim drag, it's obvious, it pulls you to the side. And his quick scope aiming was pretty much pure auto-aim drag, there's no twitch about it, it was fully the computer system. But, uh, can't complain too much about death, I got my easy payback by setting myself up, up where I knew he was coming, so... Let bygones be by by the bygones, as they say. Anyway, uh... Another reason I don't do the nuke vids much anymore is because I find them hard to make them interesting. Uh, playing conservatively but trying to advance becomes a bit of a task. After I killed this guy, for example, in staying in, I well, I stay in low percentage of encounter type areas. I see a guy there go around, but it takes me a long time to find someone again at this point. I know they were in and around the A warehouse, as you can see. Captain another guy out here. But I just couldn't find anyone for a very long period of time. And that's just through playing, uh, I wouldn't say defensively, because I was moving about all the time. But more like, slowly away from the front line. I'm trying to pick up all the stragglers. You can see you get another one, and it takes me a very long time to find another opponent again. I'm not going into high risk areas. And I'm using the middle of the map like I always do, traversing the terrain. Finally pick up my Harriers. And from here it's uh, pretty much a walk in the park. I mean, when you get your kill streaks rolling, it's pretty much all good. So yeah, on the quarry by the way, I'll, I'll probably do another vid on this soon because uh, I've got a nice little P90 brush vid. And I've been using the P90 a lot recently, it's become my new favourite gun after the M16. Just thought I'd, uh, this M16 outing was a very rare one. Uh, on quarry, I like to do a lot of what other people don't, and I like to use these middle rocks a lot. And I'm not talking just to hide up in a corner or something. Hear this guy coming? Don't know what he's staring at. I'm not talking just hiding in a corner trying to snipe people. I'm talking climbing to get like uh, positional advantages on anyone up that top level. I use them a hell of a lot, and I don't s see many other players using them as much as I do. I mean, it's the only map that I think mid-control is really good. Most maps, I'll always skirt the outskirts, and I'll never enter the middle, because, of course, that's where the main enemy focus is. But on this map, it's all about the outskirts, and the middle is the clear area, which allows someone to just exploit it quite nicely. So I just zip up and down these rocks, doing my thing, killing lots of people. And yeah, Quarry generally works out for me as one of my best maps. Uh, most people dislike it. Oh, in a minute, I'm going to start encountering people who just don't die with painkiller on. They just won't die. Anyway, lately I got a nice nuke on Afghan I might give you at some point. Uh, it was a 93 second nuke from first kill to last kill, and 1 minute 59 from game start. So I thought that was quite nice, quick rush. Capped a load of people in their uh, spawn slash camping location, and got the chopper gunner of rape and their spawn never switched. So it was really, really nice. So I'll give you that soon. As you see, I've just got my 25th kill, and so I commit suicide to celebrate. Because that's what I do. 
And then I also commit suicide again by doing the nuclear bomb. Which means that two thirds of my death in this game were caused by me entirely. Great. So anyway, just giving you this vid now. I'll do the 1000 subs vid. Probably at, while this one's uploading. Got an MV vid up on Friday, so I'll post a trailer for that. I'll have some more vids coming soon. Lots of P90 rushing, by the way. Lots of that. So, one map to go before Black Ops. I'll see you around.